Hey Scorpio, how y'all doing? Welcome. We're going to be doing your first half of October general reading here. Uh, let's talk about your meditation. Um, I saw Kali, uh, a goddess energy Kali, also known as the great destroyer and remover of obstacles. When Kali is involved, when her energy shows up, great change that you can actually witness, see, feel in the 3D is upon you. I also saw the phoenix. Uh, rising from the ashes and I saw the king of wands so I feel like you're in a good time getting ready to go into your birthday season here Scorpio like it was very empowering like that was the feeling that I got like a time of empowerment and great change that is of your highest and best good right because Kali represents change and then the Phoenix does as well so let's see what your animal advice is for the first half of October from a Scorps See if one comes out organically. There we go. Okay. So you got the spider and the camel. We're gonna take both. This one like kind of came out on its own. Um, weird. And the eagle at the bottom. Um, the eagle is. You guys are represented by the golden eagle, by the way. If you didn't know. Um, so I absolutely love this for you guys. So the spider represents, first of all, this represents writers, creatives, um, but if that doesn't, you know, really apply to you, uh, you know, this is really about an equal measure of getting your own needs met and then also being there for others, right? This is, this is weaving your, weaving your own web, right? Got my own situation so that I have somewhere to go and stay and, and be grounded and centered, making sure that I have everything that I need. But at the same time, you're able to be there for other people because you have adequately given to yourself first. This is a reciprocity with and for oneself. Okay? I love spider energy. Um, if you're in a spider energy, when this comes up for you, this is about to be a time where it's like, yes, everything in equal measure, equal give and take, equal work and play, right? This is a beautiful thing. And then you've got the camel, which I'm completely obsessed with because the camel is about knowing, feeling, and seeing that you're always going to have everything that you need. This is pure abundance coming in here. When the camel comes in, it's like you're going to want for nothing. You're gonna want for nothing. I'm also drawn to the blue moon here. I do feel like you are entering into a time where you are about to manifest things, witness, th I, I just feel like it's super lucky. That's what I wanna say. Luck, 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 lucky. Luck, duck, lucky duck. Um, that's what it feels like, where, it, where it's just like, wow, everything's going my way, wow. And it's almost as if I'm getting that feeling that when it rains, it pours type deal and it, it might seem like it's all coming all at once and like but really it was just accruing <laughs> they're showing me a really specific image so <clears throat> excuse me in Harry Potter in the first film when he goes and sees like the the bank that his parents set up for him and it's all this gold that's just accrued it's like you finally got the key code to all the gold and now you're just gonna receive it all that's what it feels like. And it's not that it's not yours that you haven't earned it. It's just meant to be that you receive it all at once. <laughs> it's like a deluge. A deluge of goodness. Also highly creative time. You could find that your artistic expression is um, heightened at the moment as well. <sighs> Automatic writing, creative writing is going to be helpful too when the spider comes up. You can also be getting written communication or an offer in writing. Okay, what's going on for sports? Oh, duh. The magician. It should come as no surprise. This is very much your inner power. You know, this is this is number one, numero uno. The, oh, and the blue. And I was definitely drawn to the blue moon here. You see this? The magician knows how to work with the moon cycles to manifest. Um, so, you know, this is absolutely gorgeous here. This is using all the tools at your disposal to manifest a life that you want. This is a very masculine, forward, active energy, okay? And I do feel like you guys are, you know, active on your grind, making it work, making it happening, making it happening, making it happen. <laughs> and the universe is supporting you in that in a lot of different, unexpected, and fun ways. It just feels like you're super lucky right now, Scorpio. It does. Bros. 
A lot of blues. Okay, so they want me to talk about the blue. So blue corresponds to the throat chakra, which is communication and speaking and communicating. So that could be at the forefront of, of either what you're being called to do or um, aspects of communication influencing the work that you're doing. Also has to do with writing. Also the color blue corresponds to Archangel Michael. Um, energy as well who carries a real big sword and we have this <laughs> we use this sword of truth like big communication Archangel Michael is so um, we have the six of swords here beautiful more with the communication realm the six of swords is moving on to greener pastures and calmer waters that that serve you right not everything can come in the boat you may have to leave some things behind on shore that that um, you've outgrown either people places or things in order to move on to the new bounty and do you see the full moon right there moonology there's something to do with the cycles of the moon here that is um <clears throat> coming up for you in a big way november november is your birthday season I think there's going to be a huge accum uh, accumulation, culmination, accumulation <laughs> of what is happening right now in November. Right. Let's see what else is going on. Good lord. Okay. I like it. So we have the Five of Cups. It did come up in the reverse, and then we got El Diablo, the devil here. I want to point something out. This definitely says six o'clock. And you just had the Six of Swords. What I'm getting here off the top is, remember when I said that not everything is gonna fit in the boat? And you might have to leave behind people, places, things, and or behaviors that no longer serve you, that you have outgrown, right? Six of Swords, six o'clock, El Diablo here. You know, I, I feel like this is saying for some of y'all that some of these things that you're being asked to release from your energy is the illusion that you don't have Full facility over your fate, because you do. Well, destiny. That you have full facility over your death. Therein lies the difference between destiny and fate, right? Just ask Oedipus Rex. Why don't you? Um, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the magician is, is really being, you know, empowered. I mean, like, I, I have all the tools at my disposal to create this. I am, I don't like to say in control, but in a way, that's what it is. And let's say the magician is, is in the driver's seat. We'll put it that way. And then you have, you know, the devil, right? And the five of cups in reverse. When this is in the upright, the five of cups is, four of cups is loss, right? Five of cups is the morning. The fact that this is in the reverse and it's paired with the, oh, weird. They're telling me the phoenix and Kali. Kali is directly linked to the element of fire, as is the phoenix. Then they're bringing you to the devil, El Diablo, which obviously is associated with fire, obviously. I mean, it does represent Capricorns, but when we think about that, it feels like the fire is, is you're being asked to let go. This You could have like behaviors, uh, addictions, like uh, smoking cigarettes, um, drinking a little much, uh, you know, it, a little too much uh, emphasis on the physical pleasures or aspects of life, right? This could even be doing anything in extremes, right? Extremities of any kind and sort. You're being asked to reach a place where you release what is no longer working, but you gotta get cognizant of what that is first. Just because you've always done something doesn't mean that you should always should do it, right? This Six of Swords is like, what? what is keeping you, Right from ascending the highest peak of manifestation possibility and you know self of uh, you yourself in fully realized form, what's keeping you from it? That's what the devil's asking you. And the five of cups in reverse is saying, don't cry over you know spilt milk here. Don't don't lament what you're letting go of because it is in your highest and best good, and you don't actually need it. That's what I'm getting, Kali. And the phoenix in energy is asking you to make some changes, but it's, it's really, it feels really, really good. I almost feel like they're changes you're happy to make because you see the benefit of making those changes like that. You know what I'm saying? It's not like you make these changes and you're like, uh, waiting around here, not really knowing like what, what the point of this was. You're going to see the benefits re like a quick turnaround is what I'm hearing. You're going to see a quick turnaround what I'm getting here. You know, 
know, I'm getting a huge sense, and I, you know, we do have the magician here. I'm getting a huge sense of the mystical, the metaphysical magic. I do feel like for a good group of you that it's very much, oh, that makes sense. Your birthday season falls on Halloween or Samhain, as I like to call it, when the veil is at its thinnest. Hmm, feels important, feels important. There's something about your intuitive abilities or something, something, something. You might even have an ability that is in the metaphysical realm or writing or something of that, that ilk that is lying dormant um, that's going to come to the, f oh, weird. For some of you, as you release these habits, you're, gonna, you're going to substitute it with something creative or something else that is positive. You're like, oh my God, I'm really good at this. Or, oh my God, this makes me feel really good. Whether, for example, you substitute smoking cigarettes with running or you substitute, um, you know, drinking wine with, I don't know, uh, painting, any, anything, any, I just saw 11-11 on the timer. Anything like that, I did say November, okay? Something like that. The Magician, let's get a clarifier. Nine of Swords, peoples. So this is cool. You know, Nine of Swords is nightmares, not sleeping really great, just a true analysis paralysis that affects your sleep patterns or nightmare, like I said. You're understanding as the magician that you have full capability to kind of cut this out, shut it down, and realize that you no longer have to be at the mercy of your own thought prison. You have control over analysis paralysis. Also, do you see the moon behind the swords here? I think there's something that you're gonna come to realize, but it's under the influence of the moon, which means it was previously hidden and or unknown to you or just something that you weren't seeing. I feel like it is gonna be illuminating and it might freak you out a little bit, but it's okay. It's okay. And you could be realizing what no longer serves and works for you. And asking this change of you, please, if this resonates with you, ask for Kali for help. Okay, because she is, br for personal experience, she's brilliant. If you want stuff done and you want it stuff done now, ask her for help around changes that you're making, especially releasing anything, and she's really going to help you. Remember, Phoenix, right? Six of Swords. Okay, they're telling me to get more specific about what I just said. Normally, I don't talk about personal things on these videos, but they're telling me to, so I'm going to. Um, for an example, okay, um, <clears throat> you know how I quit smoking? I, I smoked for pff, a long time, um, and how I quit smoking was I called about I called upon Kali, and that was and I had tried before it never worked, and then I call Kali came in one day in meditation and said, if you want to help, if you want to stop smoking, I can help you with that. She was like, but be ready. And I was like, uh, okay, let's see what you do. She made it so that when, and it's funny because it worked, but it didn't happen in the way that I would have thought or probably chosen, but the, but the end result was the same. She literally made it so that every time I tried to smoke a cigarette, it felt like knives and daggers were on my throat because I literally got like a respiratory infection. Like right after I asked her for help, I had a respiratory infection. I, I because I was real stubborn and shiz, tried smoking anyway, and it felt like razors, and it took me forever to kick that infection. And I know that it was because she was, uh, you know, aligning to be like, okay, we're gonna make sure that, that the nicotine is fully out of her system. We're gonna, she's gonna take forever to heal from this, so that when she comes out of it, it's, the nicotine is truly out of her system and she can really quit. And my God, if it didn't work. It, and it, it, it would have been, I think, a lot more difficult had I not been sick during that process. Does that make sense? And then we had the knives here, it, it, the swords. It felt like, all these swords, it felt like, like daggers, like razors in my throat. So I just want to put that out there as an example. She's really beautiful to help you get through change. It might be rough for a minute, but damn, if that didn't work, okay? I haven't had a single cigarette, honey, since that day. Okay. Um, okay, so we have the Ace of Wands to clarify the Six of Swords here. I feel like this is saying what you're moving to, darlings. I, I do. I feel like this is saying what you're moving to. This is, you know, beautiful sensual energy here. This is a big, big um, introduction to, to passion. Remember, wands rule the realm of artist, um, artistry, desire, and forward movement. 
right? Some masculine phallic energy here too, and also with the magician. There's a very masculine feeling to this whole thing, which is just saying you're in a place of taking action um, and you know being at the, the helm here. You are at the helm. That's very cool. Um, which is just a way of saying like life isn't happening at you. You, you are an active co-creator in your reality, and that's what it is. You are an active co-creator. Um, and this Ace of Wands too, I feel like this is what's, you know, you, you, not everything can come in the boat, release what doesn't serve, and it's gonna, what's on the other side of this river here is this Ace of Wands with the butterfly and everything. Now, remember, we were talking about change. The butterfly has three stick caterpillar. Oh my God, caterpillar. Is that not how the magician is shown? Caterpillar <laughs> to cocoon to butterfly. There's going to be a lightness of being at the other side of this. Whatever this is that you're letting go or moving past. Again, it doesn't have to be physical things. This could be relationships. This could be self-sabotaging behavior, negative self-thoughts, or just a pessimism. And I do feel like some of you guys, it is pessimism. Oh, this is never going to work. These are always going to be the same. Why, why? Uh, stuff like that, right? It's going to be different for everybody, but what's on the other side of it is beautiful. Clarifier. Five of Cups and the Devil. Okay, that's really weird. Well, it's not weird, but... Okay. Do you see how the Mad Hatter here... I just see that, like, his hat reminds me of a magician's hat. Even though the magician here is depicted by the caterpillar and doesn't have that... Oh. And then on the bottom of the deck is the moon. I'm also hearing the words, even though this change is, I feel like it's going to happen somewhat quickly, I'm also hearing too, to take your time getting where you're going. Because you also got the Hermit card, now it did come up in the reverse. So the, the Hermit is actively, it's the card of the empath, right? Key of the empath. This is actively taking time to go inside oneself to glean inspiration right, and get a clear take on forward movement ahead and, and what's best for you and what's coming up and intuitive guidance, all that. The fact that it was in reverse here, you know, I do feel like this is saying, because it is clarifying the five of cups and the devil here. I feel like this is really saying like, because there is this feeling of wanting to be active and move forward. As you release these things, things may come up for you. Emotions, right, when we let go of behaviors or places or things or people that no longer serve us, we are moving into a new vibration. And some things, sometimes that can cause us to kind of want to cocoon or really, you know, um, assume the hermit position for extended period of time. We, we can, you know, kind of isolate ourselves as we go through this change. I completely understand and relate to that. But, you're, but I don't feel like it's going to take that long for you because this was a long time coming. Does that make sense? You're gonna release this stuff and you're gonna see the turnaround on the bounty of this. It's gonna be so quick, I feel it. Let's get a goddess. Let's get a goddess guidance for my Scorpios. You know, I'm also hearing too, like there, there's an opportunity here that I'm feeling that comes along once in a blue moon. You know, we have these inspirations and times and opportunities for change. We don't always take it, right? But I'm hearing this is the like a blue moon level opportunity. I'm also hearing because we do have the spider writing, automatic writing, anything like that that gets you out of your head, right? Is gonna be really good for you. Really healing, okay? Okay. Let's get a goddess for my darling Scorpios. Oh, I love it. Let me see if there's one more. Got a nice little water message for my water signs, oh my god, I'm obsessed. Okay, so we got Sulis, I think that's how you say it, bodies of water, love it. Uh, spend time near water such as a lake, river, or the ocean to recharge your batteries. You know, I think that that's beautiful advice, and we did have the water imagery come up here. We do have some cups here. I think this is beautiful advice in the base case. And it's really funny that this is coming up because, like I said, when well, I didn't say it, but when I quit smoking, I what I replaced it with was I would walk down to the water and just sit there <laughs> by this river near me. That's what I would do, um, and it worked for me. 
I think this is, is beautiful advice. I'm also drawn to the fact, like this ribbon here, and it feels like she's releasing the ribbon that bound here, which reminds me of Eight of Swords, which takes me to the Nine of Swords. There's a freedom in the feeling of this uh, key right here, and we're back to the you know color blue with the water there. Do you see how it looks like she's about to jump off into a new chapter and she's just like about to ribbon dance or something? Yeah, this feels really good for you. And then you also got Nematona, y'all, sacred space. Create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine. I have to tell you, you know, with Kali coming in and the Phoenix coming in, I do feel like this is really sage advice here. And we're talking about the hermit. Because if you take this time, to you know, reset, recharge, and realign yourself, and you do so hand in hand with spirit, whatever that is for you, it's not gonna have to take years and years, right? But do you see kind of the key in this with the you know the color blue and this feeling of like you know blue rules the realm of the throat chakra and communication? I really feel like the ticket and the key right now is to really connect with the divine in order to aid you and moving into this new chapter and releasing any limited mindsets, beliefs, thought patterns, toxic patterns, whether they're you know in your mind with yourself or actual physical um, you know patterns or habits that you have that there's no room for in the boat to go forward into your next chapter. And again, I have to say it: November, 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 November. Okay, feels feels um, really big for you guys. Boom. Okay, my lovely Scorpios. I so hope that this was of help for you um, or help to you and resonated. <laughs> if so, please let me know in the comments below. I would love that. Also, I am doing personal readings again. I don't know for how long. Um, all of that information is in the description box below. And just thank you guys. Thank you guys as always for, for being here and thank you for being you and be well. Until next time.